I screwed my channel. I screwed my channel. What's good, my fellow person? How are you doing? So, I'm going to try to stay positive as I, I give you guys this update. At the start of my channel for the first year and a half, so much growth with it. It was just blowing up, blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. And then it, it, it hit a stagnation point. And I, I think between thinking it was just 15 was over, was in between other games, um, you know, I was going on holidays a lot. I, I really considered that it was just me. But this is where I'm just going to take my part of the blame, but I'm also going to say YouTube. I fucking hate YouTube now. I, I really do. For no other way to say it, you know, I just hate it. And I'm not talking about the community and these videos. In fact, I'm more passionate about them than ever. But YouTube made some algorithm changes in 2018. You've probably heard a lot of other YouTubers complain about this, from Jack Septakai, who, you know, everyone's saying his channel's dead and he even articulated from PewDiePie to, you know, so many others. You know, four and a half million or even a half million subscriber channels who can barely get 10, 20K views on their videos, like ludicrous views compared to how many people are following them. And what it was is in 2018, YouTube made, of course, the bell button. So as if it wasn't hard enough back in the day to get people to do one action, pressing subscribe, then to press a bell button, even that wasn't good enough. I kind of thought I was just losing to the, the algorithm. But no, they changed it to click through rate, which was basically who had the most sensational thumbnail no, we, we know that really popped and was very clickbaity. Maybe had some tit haze in it, and who had the most like grand title that made everything thing sound like a big deal. That's how YouTube is now. It's got to a sensationalism, viral. Everything has to be a big deal with the latest stuff. So click through rates screwed over so many people, especially as they recommended the the thing by the side of your uh, videos. It's still wholly mystery on how you get there. So if you're one guy behind a camera, you know, and you're not a huge company with loads of employees, doing one video a day, every day, how can you script, edit, record, upload, decent, well thought out content every day? And we have seen so many YouTubers burn out because of it. And uh, I just knew that I couldn't do that. I had to do me. I had to do something that I found fulfilling, inspiring. And also that I, I wanted to connect with that core cool audience of Final Fantasy fans. That you guys are the ones that made my channel. You are the ones that through all of this, you know, adpocalypse. Who, now my channel would not be here now if it weren't for those who supported me on Patreon, who tipped me on live stream. So I just want to say more than anything, I wholehearted thank you to you guys for keeping these cameras on. I wouldn't be here. I, I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. I try to put something a bit deeper, be a legacy for the archive of this beautiful franchise that I do believe is timeless and can always be seen and viewed with a new lens that can inspire, motivate and, and rekindle the love that many of us have for these games. I don't want to always just be covering the latest shit for the sake of it, but there is something fundamentally wrong with YouTube right now. There is. With all of the changes they've made, it has put them in such a horrible position. But I was kind of wading out until I released uh, this video here. It was um, what we can learn from Caius Ballard. Um, and I don't often big up my own videos, but that was a really great video. I was like, I've done videos in the past that have been way less edited, way less scripted. Sometimes I've rambled for 40 minutes with a camera mic and it's all blurry and it's horrible. And, and I used to get better results when I had a fraction of the subscribers. So at this point I was like, there's something wrong here. I need to look into it. So off I went into, into the statistics. And again, I look at incredible engagement, right? Um, audience retention of 50%, exactly, I've got it here, 50%. Now that might not sound like much, but in the world of YouTube, that is pretty damn good. A study that was done on it found that the average video only gets 35 to 40% audience retention. So this video had the audience retention, uh, it had all of the trademarks to get a really decent video, yet, and right even now, nearly a whole day out, 24 hours out, it's barely got 2K views, and I'm thinking, what? the shit this kind of video back in the past would have been a in a solid 20 to 30k and I, I don't like looking at numbers because i'm not in this just to play a numbers game i i i have more heart for these kind of videos and topics um you know and why i stay doing them 
but, but then I look into where is that 2K coming from, and, and here's where it gets good, guys. So according to this, 75% of that 2K, and this has been a repeat trend when I've looked on my last videos, the majority of my views, the vast majority, is coming from the browser. The browser, the YouTube browser, and I can even look specifically what people are typing. It's people typing Final Fantasy Peasant. So, so it's some of you guys who are randomly on a day just going, I wonder if Pez has uploaded a video, Final Fantasy Peasant. Then 8% of that 2K, so we're talking barely 160 viewers, is coming from notifications. <laughs> Barely 160. Now, I'm coming up to... No, I've got 85,000 subscribers. I've been there for a long time. I've wondered why it's been so stagnant for a while. And what we know is, you know, even though you're subscribed, you're not necessarily going to get notified. Uh, but then I looked at my bell button. How many are actually belled? 16%. Now, again, might sound little, but according to YouTube, that's above average. The average is usually about 10 to 15%. So above average, people have got to hit the bell. But even that's not good enough for YouTube now. Because what I recently discovered is that even when you hit the bell, there's actually a subcategory, a third subcategory, that either says to be always notified, occasionally, or never. And it defaults to occasionally. So, so, so... Uh, no, this really answers why I've had so many people saying, Pez, I don't get notified of any of your stuff, any of your stuff. So many live streams where even people saying, I get notified an hour after you finished. Um, people just aren't getting them. So now I'm wondering, okay, so, so what's happened here? And now this is where I've discovered where the occasional aspect of occasionally get notified is another brilliant idea from YouTube where basically they grade your subscription based on how much of the stuff they have viewed over the course of the time that they have been subscribed. So what this means is if somebody subscribed to me three years ago, they had to have been pretty much consistently watching my content for three years. How is that logical, YouTube? How the fuck is that logical? I mean, there are some YouTubers that at times in my life I've watched every day for months, but it's natural. To go, okay, well, I'm done with them now. And I don't watch them for like six months or even up to a year. And then I come back to them. But no, by YouTube standards, you will no longer see that channel because you haven't watched them every time they've uploaded. So after finding out that, no, a lot of my longest subscriptions have been slowly degrading over time. What I then discovered is that YouTube also fucks you over with live streams. And I discovered this is why no one live streams. So besides the fact that YouTube have the audacity to take 30%, 30% of people's tips to provide a live streaming service that often does not notify YouTubers, often crashes, often has bugs and latency issues, has a massive, massive chat delay. They take the largest portion of any platform for the privilege of providing the worst streaming service. And not only that, they don't actually count video time. And this is what I thought that live streams were benefiting me on. Because of course, some people can stay for full two hours, even if people stay for 20 minutes. That is a lot of watch time. They don't count watch time. That's the only case where they're like, no, okay, so watch time we don't count or they count percentage for live streams. So what this means is if someone stays for half an hour of a two hour stream, that's really good. That's half hour watch time, but it's not. It's only, you know, barely 25%. And that is a bad percentage watch time. So what they then do is they say, okay, that person didn't stay for that long degrades the sub, degrades the sub, degrades the sub. And they've even included live streams into the overall strength of, of again, th this grading system. So when I've done things like played DQ11, huge game, played it for like seven months, my Final Fantasy fans, so no, some of you, of course, won't be interested in DQ11. So you might have not watched a single episode, and that's perfectly normal, but every time you didn't watch an episode, it essentially said, we suggested this video to a person, we notified them, they didn't watch it, degrade, degrade, degrade. And that's why I haven't realized that for over two years, and this was quite hard to swallow, and it still is now, for two years, my live streaming has been killing. God damn, leave me alone. Killing my YouTube. It's actually hurt my channel now to the point where virtually no one gets notified of anything I do anymore. And this is all just part of the beautiful joys of YouTube as it is now. 
And no, no, I suppose maybe I could have seen it. Maybe, you know, I've talked about moving to Full Fantasy Peasant, which I now have to do. So notify, I'm now moving to Full Fantasy Peasants. This is my playthrough channel, my second channel, where I'll be doing all live streams because I have to now, because I have to now somehow try to repair the subscriptions on my main channel. Um, if I want them to uh, even perform with a modicum of hope, to, to even show a, a fraction of my subscribers <laughs> that video has actually come out. So super frustrating. You know, I, I always knew that my channel was growing really quickly in the early days and I couldn't understand why it was plateauing. And now when I've seen, you know, I, I try not to compare when I see other channels you know, zipping past, I see them keep growing and I feel like I'm releasing decent content, but just not getting the same results. So how can I, or specifically, how can you help me to, to get back on track? Well, first of all, I would say the subscribe button down there. If you could actually hit it off, go to unsubscribe, resubscribe. Um, if you do want to be notified of my videos, I've got so many cool ones coming out, upcoming. I'm really excited and enthused for the stuff that's coming up. And even just for when the remake comes. That's why I want to get this issue sorted for when the remake comes. I'm only going to live stream on this other channel. I'm going to try to rebuild the damage that I've done. And it's going to take a lot of work to do that. But yeah, if you could hit that bell button if you want to be notified. Also go check the options button on the side, switch it to always. This is of course, if you wanna see my content and oh, yeah, I mean, that would really help. So there we go, guys. I won't keep it up too much longer. That is what's been happening with this channel. It's why it's stagnated as hard as it has. You know, it, it, it's, it's partly on me, I guess, but it's also a lot on YouTube. And I, I just see so many people struggling with this sort of stuff now that it's a shame. Now it's just about playing pointless games. I mean, it's actually got to the stage and you'll see some YouTubers who, who have said this, where it's actually all just about thumbnails, really. Who, who can make the most sensational thumbnails? I didn't come to YouTube to be, to be trying to play uh, this pointless game of jumping through hoops and, and trying to make everything just seem super exaggerative and, and sensationalism. So I, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep making videos that make me feel passionate, that I can see the because of the latest videos I've done, I've never had better comments. I really haven't. Some of them have been the greatest comment sections that I've seen for a while. And I get more fulfillment from that than just trying to get numbers, pointless numbers. And sure, it might make me more money, but that's not my priority in life anymore. So there we go. That is what's happening with Final Fantasy Peasants. I am still so damn high and just kind of relieved that I've actually found out that this is a problem so I can actually now fix it. So Full Fantasy Peasants where we'll be uploading. I'm considering Mixer. I've heard a lot of stuff about people saying places you should get over there. Maybe I will, but for now, get on both channels if you love both the live streams and the videos. And I'll see you next time for all the delicious danky stuff that is coming. And yeah, just thank you so much to all of you guys who stayed with me supporting, even though the majority of the time YouTube were not telling you Jack shit, Jack diddly squid of what I was doing. Thank you guys. Coop out. <laughs>